let me know what you guys think like if you guys seriously want to get down and play in this let me know like I will straight up give you guys everything you need for it oh man still number two for Lord of Destruction that's awesome that's pretty so yeah that was Reign of Shadow now we move on to the main event And actually, what I think I need to do before I um, do all this is make sure my paladin doesn't have a torch. Because I don't think I exferred one off the one that I have on him. So give me a second to make sure because I mean we can still do it don't get me wrong I just want to be able to like pick it up and identify it for you guys so we do not have oh we do have the torch that is no problem so I'll go ahead and mule that off real quick for and then we'll be right underway. So um actually I know where I know where I can put it, so go to my nightmare druid. He'll be able to pick it up I believe because I don't think I put a torch on him yet no I do not so that works out perfectly because here I'll show you guys the torch before I mule it off aura sounds <laughs> I know man like it's a beautiful thing so it's a 20 to all attributes all resist 14 plus 3 to druid skills hellfire torch that's what I got the other night like the beauty so there it goes back to my druid now we can do ubers so I'll get everything situated so Kami I hope you enjoy this because we are it's going down now gonna be hobo ubers we go matron's den so we fight Lilith first so this should be interesting and temptress hell temptress already it's a big mob that's all right we got life tap so it ain't gonna be no match oh It's all right. We got we got lots of life taps, so they can't do nothing on us. Dead.
Hey Mitsukuni, I don't think you uh want to be lurking either. You might want to check this out. Oh, and we're we already got fade active. <laughs> That's awesome. So we got a bunch of resist right now. And I'm I'm using zeal because it'll clear out the the mobs faster than my smite will. So and my zeal's only 1.4 to 1.7. I mean it it's like a weak build. Like I'm primarily smite and then like my leftovers, you know, I got Holy Shield, I got Defiance, Fanaticism, Smite, all max, and then Leftovers. What I went with is, um, you know, I got one point into Holy Fire, Thorns, Holy Freeze, and then Sanctuary. And I use Sanctuary for, like, the ghosts, since they're, like, physical immune. And, you know, Sanctuary or just wrecks undead. So, Zeal plus Sanctuary just clears that out fast. Um, and one point salvation. So, I could have gotten redemption, but I don't really need it. I mean, I got like a full belt of three columns of full juice, one of mana, because I do, I will need the mana, so, for sure. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Mitsukuni. Is it on your YouTube or what? Like, is it on Twitch? Because if it's on YouTube, I'll definitely check it out. Well, I'm going to check it out regardless, but you know. Alright, Rich, have a good one, man. Thanks for joining. Thanks for following, too. I saw that. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, um, I'll be streaming, like, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday nights, for, at the, for now, anyways. Um. Oh, man, that sucks. Um. Just in case you can't, uh, hear or read. Um, Thanamir actually was streaming Diablo 2 last night, and I joined, and I ended up, uh, hooking him up with a full hammered in build. And that's pretty much where I was hanging out last night, like, we were just dueling in, like, PvP with, uh, Death Wolf and another follower, uh, Stink Nasty is, well, is his Diablo account name, but... Yeah, we were just dueling, having fun, chilling. Like, Danamir was providing commentary. It was great. Had a bunch of people watching. Akuma Lord was there. Like, it was just a blast. So, I hope we find Lilith quick, because I don't want to, like, spend, like, a long time trying to hunt her down. This is like the only portal I honestly hate. Like, fighting her is no problem. With Fave, she's like easy. You got like stacked resist, but it's just the trying to find her is the problem. Yeah, Thano was drunk. It was fun though. It's locked. Like it was he got so hyped over the duels. It was great. But yeah. Um So hopefully after this we can fight like Iswal or Duriel. I don't really there's supposedly a specific order that you can do with the keys to find like to get the portals but I just do them as they I just put 
terror, hate, and then destruction always. And it's always random for me, so... Whichever one comes up, just the first one to die. That's how I look at it. And these vile witches can cause some harm, too. So, and the Lancers. I hate the Lancers the most. Well, I hope she's this way. Might be. If so, then we're just cool. Um, yep, she's here. There's poison. I feel it already. So, we're gonna just clear this mob out so we can access a little bit. Actually, we're just gonna mess her up now. Like, I'm just gonna start smiting. Those succubus ain't gonna do no damage, pretty much. So. She got wrecked. Cleansing and then zeal and we're good. Actually, I'll just go visit Mala. Alright, so we got Diablo's horn. Right, first organ. So next one up. And I'll be moving. Because you don't want to open the portals on top of each other. Alright, so Iswal is next in Furnace of Pain. So, as we get close, I'm going to try and get him to teleport on top of me. So I can av basically avoid the mob that he'll be surrounded by. And that'll make it easier to just solo him. But you know, you're an uber smiter anyway, so it's not going to, man matter. But if you're trying to like go for time, then yeah, just try and get him to like teleport on you. There he is. Aim lock that guy. Pit grin. The other day, actually yesterday I believe it was, that I, um, instead of using Grief, like I was using, I went ahead and swapped it out with my Last Wish. Because I, I like having the Fade, really, mostly for fighting Mephisto. I mean, I have 38 Resist even without the Fade, so that's when I was using Grief. So... But I just prefer the fade. And my smiter is only 87. Um, I don't think his wall's over there, so we gotta go back around. And. After this, Kami, I'll go over my smiter if you've never seen him. Oh, nice, a rare Archon. Can I pick it up or. Nope, I can't. Actually, wait a minute. I'll be able to get rid of that stamina. I do want to keep that. Like, that's a good drop. I would definitely keep ID that and sell that. That's like 35k right there, gold. So can't go wrong. All right, so Venom Lord, since this is like an uber level, is immune to everything but physical. So Zeal just knocks them down. These tricksters are no like getting annoying teleporting all over the place. Alright, I 
think we're getting close. So we got a small charm. You know, I'm just gonna go to town real quick and sell this stuff. Man, not bad. I mean, 36 to life is good. Low resist, low MDR. Minus 20 requirements is always awesome, but one socket, we can do better. For rare, anyways, we can do better. But yeah, that 36 to life is good. I like seeing that. But we can get more. Definitely gotta go this way. Right. I'm just gonna ignore these people now. I'm just gonna go straight to Iswald himself. Gonna clear this, go back to town, open up the last portal, which will be Durial. Daryl is dead. We go to Tristram. And we're still faded. So hopefully we can keep fade even in uh, Tristram. So that would be good instead of trying to have it activate. Duriel's pretty much a pushover, so he falls pretty quick. Alright, and then, so before I go in the open trust room, um, basically comment me what my gear is using, or what my smiter's using, not gear. Yeah, my gear uses my paladin. Um, <laughs> it's the last wish uh, phase blade just for the fact that it gives life tap on striking fade when struck 69% um, crushing blow ignore targets defense prevent monster heal and the might aura helps for damage um, chains of honor dusk shroud <clears throat> I use it for basically the two all skills which helps with uh, battle orders but mostly it's the all resists and you know the 20 strength helps me wear items um, Galame's face set winged helm um, I added a 15 all resist um, it's an umrune so I get 15 all resist but it's the crushing blow deadly strike you know the strength the hit recovery um, high lord's wrath Deadly Strike, Lightning Resist, All Skills, um, Dracul's Grasp, Life Tap on Striking, Open Wounds, Strength, Life Stolen per Hit. I have 220 decks Raven Frost, so I can get Max Block with Holy Shield. Um, I'm using Thunder God's Vigor War Belt. 
for the 20 lightning absorb and the 10% max lightning resist which helps against Mephisto's conviction so it won't so his da you know lightning damage doesn't do much gore riders for crushing blow deadly strike and open wounds and the shield is exile in a vortex um, level 5 life tap on striking defiance aura when equipped and the shield itself has 45 all resists I mean it's like so I have a ton of life tap on striking basically is what you want you get that with lots of defense stacked resists and that's pretty much it I've built this guy to not use a torch like I've seen tons of uber smiters on YouTube you know they got their torch they got their Annie but I specifically build mine so I can pick up the torch go sell it get more keys and just keep doing it that way <coughs> oh I'm gonna have to teach you about some defiance um, are you getting it through Steam? So, yeah, that self repair is beautiful. So, there it is, Kami. Tristram. I lost my fade, but you know what? I don't even need it, honestly. Like, so. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the long way around, but there's two ways of doing this. I can run straight like this down here and go right into the, like, go right into all three. Or the way I'm going now is the long way around. And the first one I'm going to pull is Mephisto. So once you pull him you're going to get a lot of skeletons spawned on you so basically you know you go all the way around to where I'm at right here you know get your be battle orders your holy shield and then you're gonna run up here and then run back and there's Mephisto and then once he's close just smite him see his conviction aura 30 oh 38 with my lightning resist. Now it's 85 because of fate. And look how quick he fell. He hits. He out of all three brothers, he's the one that hits the hardest. But he falls the fastest. So even though his damage is so high, like he will one shot you without even trying. He's also the one with like the least life. So you're you know just take them out um, and then you can go to either Bale or Diablo and then whichever one you leave last drops the torch so got rid of poison I'm gonna try and pull Diablo or Bale whichever one wants it so I'll just kill the pit lords for now until Bale decides to teleport on me um, I do want to get rid of Bale because of the ghosts, so I'll just throw on Sanctuary and just smite them. Otherwise, that happens or that. So, but basically, I'll get rid of Sanctuary or or use Sanctuary to keep the ghosts off me, so I don't lose mana as I kill Bale. Um, like I said, this is the way I do it. Just because it's clean, it's safe and faster, really. So Bale dies. I'll switch to Zeal, kill the Spectres, and then I'll go for the Dark Lords. Actually, I won't even go for them, honestly. I'm just gonna bigger out of there. Go up this way, pull Diablo, and then just smite him. 
And yeah, that's pretty much Ubers right there. So whichever way you guys want to do it, you can either come in just straight from the portal or go the long way around, pull Mephisto, Bale, or Diablo, whichever one. And that's it. Go to town with your uh, unidentified torch. Good evening. Go over to Kane, which he's hiding behind the portal. Not and now the time. moment of truth. What do you guys think it is before I identify it? What torch do you guys think it is? Like the character skills. Do you think it's a necromancer, assassin, barb, amazon, sorceress, or druid? Or paladin, if I didn't say that. So just type in chat. Let me know. Okay, Akuma says assassin. All right, so Thanamir and Kami say Druid. So one for Assassin, two for Druid. Anybody else want to get in on this action? My girlfriend says Zahn. So we got one for Amazon now. What do you guys think? It's 138. I'll identify it at 140. That way, you guys get a little time to type in the chat and it'll catch up. And this is on US East Softcore Non Ladder. Hey, what's up, Carrick? Thanks for joining, man. And Carrick says Pally. So we got two for Druid, one for Assassin, one for Amazon, and one for Paladin. Anybody for Necromancer or Barbarian? How about this? Whoever guesses it gets the torch. Like, the torch will be yours. The only thing is, I'll have to think of something if Kami, since Kami and Thanamir both call Druid, I'll have to come up like with a quick way to like decide who wins. You know what I mean? Because you both said the same class. So, hey, what's up, E Click? Thanks for uh, joining. And we got one for Barb. Anybody for Necro? If you call it and it's right, you get the torch. Hey, what's up, Shankums? All right, so we got one for Necro. Okay, so it's 140. So one for Necro, one, two for Druid, one for Barbarian, one for Paladin, one for Assassin, and one for Amazon. So are you guys ready to see what torch it is? As soon as I can locate Kane, because he's like wants to hide now. There he is. You guys ready for this? All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Kane moves. Stay a while and listen. All right. Here we go. We just identified it. <clears throat> All right, Shankums, I will. And Thanamir, I will. All right, so here we go, guys. It's a sorceress. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I totally forgot to call that one, too. Wow. Now I feel like the noob. 
Oh, it's eleven seventeen sorceress torch. Hey, that's all good, man. Thank you for joining, though. I appreciate it. If you guys, um, Carrick, Shankums, you click. If you guys um, like the stream, you know, just f hit the follow button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks for joining. But man, I cannot believe I forgot Sork. How could I forget the sorceress? I feel so ashamed. <laughs> I know, man. I was I was hoping someone would win it though. You know what I mean? I know. Kane just moved at the last split second. Just messed it up. I think we should like go back to D3, watch him die again just because of this. Like he just messed it up for everybody. So, but yes, there you go, Kami. There's your Uber trust from my OU. I think he should get it. And you know what? I'm gonna give it right to you, Kami. Like this is your torch. I mean it's low on the all attributes almost perfect on all resist but it's yours man you can have it and I'll and I'll get you set up with a sorceress set up and everything man whichever sort you want fire cold um, I don't have, honestly, I don't have anything for lightning, so I'm sorry. I left up, like, one of the strongest chaos runners. Like, lightning sork could tear up chaos and bail. Without, you know, the gloams, but... <laughs> With infinity, it's no problem, but still. But, yeah. It, torch is all yours, man. Thank you, everybody who participated. That was fun. Like, I was, like, my heart was racing a little bit there. Like, I was so s hyped and just, was like, who's going to win? Who's going to win? And then Kane fucks it up. Should get on there and whip his ass. Actually, I think, yeah, Kane is the winner for that, just for screwing it up. <laughs> so... 144 I got like 15 minutes you guys want to see some magic find runs I guess or you guys want to join me in some magic find runs you can do like